Hey, thanks for coming back to Pocket Ronnie. So we are going to be doing dividing radicals. Dividing radicals has the same rules as multiplying radicals. In words, do numbers to numbers and radicals to radicals. So here we are at 17B number 5. So radicals to radicals, numbers to numbers when you're dividing. Okay, 36 divided by 6, 6, square root of 8 divided by square root of 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so square root of 4. The one thing to watch for is square root of 4 equals 2. So this does mean 6 times square root of 4. So this would be 6 times, and then the square root of 4 is 2. And then 6 times 2 is 12. And that is your final answer. On down to 17B number 6. I see that we're dividing numbers and radicals. Numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals. 42 divided by 7 is 6. Square root of 10 divided by square root of 5 is square root of 2. 10 divided by 5 is 2, but make sure you have your radical. And that is the final answer for that. Now on to 17D number 6. 2 times square root of 3 divided by square root of 5. Again, what coefficient is in front of this 5? It's just like having, seeing x, what coefficient is in, like x plus 2x. What coefficient is in front of this x? A 1. The same is true for radicals. What coefficient is in front of the radical? A 1. So numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Square root of 30 divided by square root of 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6, but we actually we keep the radical. So 2 square root of 6. In both of these answers, the square root of 2 and square root of 6 cannot be simplified anymore, so the answer stays with square root of 2 and square root of 6. For more on simplifying radicals, see the video on simplifying radicals.